Hello, my name is Bo Roman, and I'm going to be showing you a step-by-step -step of how to assemble a 204 egg prepack. This is going to be the shipper that you're going to end up receiving. You'll need an X-Acto or a knife to actually open it up, and I'll actually take you through what the contents of the shipper will be. So, what you'll actually receive is you'll receive three shelves here, as you can see on the table. You'll also receive a header card that will be uh, placed on top of the prepack at the end of assembly. And then you'll also receive a base unit which needs to be assembled properly. And last but not least, there'll be basic instructions that you'll find inside each of the prepacks. But you will also receive an electronic copy or a hard copy that'll have a lot more detail. So you're going to receive a hard copy of the uh, detailed instructions, as well as you may also receive this electronically, which will take you through step by step each of the steps that you need to achieve in order to assemble this unit properly. So first thing that you need to get a hold of is take the base and you're actually going to unfold it. And what you want to do is you want to square it off. So that may take a little bit of folding just to actually get a little bit of the memory out of the board. And then you're going to take each of these front tabs that you see here and you're going to fold them back. This will actually hold the unit square and will actually lock into place. Sometimes you'll have to punch out the front little Nestle Love logo here because it's, uh, it's perforated. But once you push back this, uh, this flap, you'll see that it'll lock into place. And you'll notice that by the actual corrugate coming out through the slot in the back here. You'll have to repeat the step for the upper shelf. And this just falls back into place and once again locks into place and you'll notice that once you get the little bit of corrugate popping out the back side. So this is what your base will look like fully assembled. So in this next step, I'm going to show you how to assemble each of the shelves and get them ready for assembly actually onto the base itself. You're receiving three shelves, and in each of the three shelves, you'll see that there's product inside. But what you'll want to do is you want to open up each shelf before putting it onto the base. So you'll have to cut the tape down at the bottom, and then what you're going to do is you're going to open the lid, you're going to fold it back, and then actually the lid will tuck underneath the actual shelf itself. And then it actually can sit on a counter countertop like this, and it acts almost like a mini PDQ. So the next step after this, once you've done all three, is you're going to want to remove the, uh, the protection for the adhesive on the Velcro strip. So if you remove it, you're going to do it for both sides of the PDQ or the shelf, and then you're ready to actually put it onto the base. There's one thing that you need to do to the base though before actually putting the shelves on is you'll want to fold each one of these little horseshoe tabs slightly in so that it's going to actually catch on each of the shelves. So you actually have to do it six times, three for each side, and then you're actually ready to take a shelf and put it onto the unit itself. All right, so the next step will be installing the, the actual shelves onto the base unit. Two things to keep in mind. First thing is, you definitely need to remove the, the adhesive strips on either side of the Velcro dots. This will help the unit stay firmly in place and prevent the shelves from toppling over. So this is very, very important. The second thing is, is you definitely want to make sure that you fold in each of the tabs, because that'll help you when you're actually putting the shelves into the base, and it'll help it guide into spot a lot easier. So we're going to do the first shelf. We've removed the the strips on either side so that the adhesive is now showing. One thing you want to be careful of is when you're putting it in is that you don't necessarily connect with the wall too soon because these uh, dots will actually stick to the wall. So once you pop it into place, just make sure that the shelf itself connects with each one of these tabs because that will actually hold it into place. Put a little bit of firm pressure on top and as you can see it locks right into, into location. Don't forget you got the two Velcro dots with the adhesive on either side. So just do a slight press on either side of the unit and that'll hold that shelf firmly into place. So we'll do this for also for the second shelf. As you see, they're both removed. The Velcro dots are ready to be put into place. Just watch the side walls. Connect on either side with the tab. This shelf is actually a little bit easier because it has the, uh, the physical shelf in place. As you can see, I didn't do this one properly because the tab is actually on the outside. Just make sure it's pushed in and it's firmly in place and then push on either side of the wall. And that'll lock your shelf into place once again. And then for the last shelf, you're going to repeat the process all over again. It's going to connect into the top part here on either side. Just push in the tab so that it connects in. Do a slight press down. 
and then pushing in on either side. There you've got your base and your three shelves. And the last thing to do to top off this unit is to put on the header card. And then your unit is full, complete, and ready for the consumer. And there you go.